Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to a data source from the web. Imagine that you are trying to retire and you are looking for places to live and you have some criteria that you want to check to make sure that the places you want to live meets those criteria. For example, you might want a place that has a lot of sunshine, low crime rates, good healthcare, or perhaps you are a data analyst or a data scientist that is looking for information to help your customers. There's a website we can go to, it's called Best Places to Retire, and it basically ranks each of the states according to the places to retire. So the link displayed on the screen is the website we're going to go to. So this is where we are going to connect and interact with some data. So this is the website that I have just connected to. And this is a link in case you haven't got it. If I scroll down here, you see some information. You can see here it says ranking of best and worst states for retirement. So these are some useful information that you can connect to and interact with inside your Power BI desktop. I have just launched my Power BI desktop. When you launch the Power BI desktop, if you have this option checked that says show this screen on startup, you get this screen. So to connect to a data source, you can either click on this get data link, or you can access the same link from within the Power BI desktop interface. So I'm going to X out of this startup screen and I'm going to click on this get data option. And within this get data, you've got the option for web because I want to interact with some web data. I'll click on that and I'll wait for it to launch. So it's giving me the option. So from the web, I need to paste in the URL of the website I want to interact with. So I pasted that in. I'm going to click on the OK button and see what happens. So it's trying to connect to that data. So what's happening here is that the query functionality of the Power BI desktop contacts the web resource and shows inside this navigator window what it has found. So you can see here it's found the document which relates to the site and it also contains a table. Now what we're interested in here is this table. I'm so I'm just going to click to check it. And you can see here it previews the data inside this table. So we've got three options here. One to load the data, one to edit the data, and one to cancel. Before you load data inside the Power BI desktop, you can decide to clean and transform the data with the Power Query Editor. And in order to access the Power Query Editor, you just click on this Edit button. So I'm going, let's assume we want to adjust some of the data to make it meet our needs. Now the process of adjusting data that you are connected to is called shaping. So I'm going to click on this edit button here and that will bring up the Power Query Editor. So you can see here it's brought up the Power Query Editor and we can see the preview of the data. So now that we've got this, we can make some modifications that is shape the data before we actually load it inside the Power BI desktop. So I'm going to end this video here and in the next video we will look at shaping the data that we've just connected to.
Thank you for watching. Bye for now.